Hello and welcome to HP Unplugged Frontliners, a series that brings you inspiring stories from the leaders who continue to make a difference through their passion, vision and relentless effort. Our today's episode is coming to you right from the heart of HPCL Rajasthan Refinery Limited, fondly known as Tajwal in the Desert. At Pajpadra, Rajasthan, this 9 million metric ton refinery come petrochemical complex is not just an engineering marvel, but a symbol of India's growing energy self-reliance. From the control rooms of Mumbai to the vast construction fields of Barmer, our next sketch journey truly reflects how experience and energy can turn engineering dreams into reality. With a background in mechanical engineering and a certification in boiler operations, a deep expertise in energy management, he blends technical mastery with strategical leadership. Having joined HPCL in 2001 in the operations department of the Mumbai Refinery, he now plays a pivotal role in driving major project execution at HPCL Rajasthan Refinery Limited. Please welcome Mr. Raghavendra BG, Journal Manager Projects, a leader who continues to build the foundations of progress one milestone at a time. Hello, sir, and uh, welcome to this episode. Uh, sir, we are so happy to have you here. Thank you, Smith. Starting with this conversation, uh, you know, we have heard that you have started uh, in back in 2001 with power plant operations, right? Yes. So, sir, coming from that and right now you are at HRRL, I mean, how, in your words, how would you describe your transition from that uh, sector to this mega structure, mega refinery, which is soon going to commission, you know, in coming months? Uh, I will just diversify the answer in the straight question. Uh, yeah, I say ki if it's raining, mm -hmm. if I want to collect a water, so aap apne se le lo. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can collect it in a glass or you can collect it in a bucket or you put a dam and you collect it. So HPCL is such an organization. That's the beauty of uh, my organization is that ki mm -hmm. it's up to an officer where you want to grow, how much you want to grow. So everything is up to you in fact. The system mm -hmm. is in place. So that's the beauty of it. So coming back to my own journey, though I started uh, my journey for power plant, uh, I was having a uh, uh, experience with gas turbines and steam turbines and uh, mm -hmm. boilers, uh, like all thorough power plant man. Okay. But there was one shutdown in uh, those times. Turnaround was there in the uh, refinery, so they wanted one mechanical engineer in the, that shutdown. So I uh, went from CPP to power plant to basically mm -hmm. Dubai refinery. Then. I was become part of maintenance. So over the period, there was some uh, uh, price drop in the gas okay. energy, uh, RLG line. Mm -hmm. So they wanted one power plant, maintenance is back in a power plant. Okay. So I transferred with a from... promotion to the CPP to take okay. care of the maintenance. Mm -hmm. So from there, uh, we did a phenomenal job in power plant. Mm -hmm. From there, I picked up into a maintenance planning. So there I was the part of uh, terminal planning of uh, uh, both the fuel refinery and lube refinery. By that time, uh, Mumbai Refinery Express project was there. So they wanted some guys to be there, part of that project. project. Yeah. So then I mm. became a part of that project. I took care of the summer rotary mm -hmm. and DST revamp, new wedge uh, elastic project. So that was one of the phenomenal journey with MRP project in Mumbai. Okay. So by the time we finished that project, this was coming up. So, uh, today's CEO, Mr. Kamalakar Yukhar was my mm. boss at that time. Okay. So, he came mm. here. So, mm. with that, a lot of we project guys were the part of Mumbai Refinery. Today, we are here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're lucky to be part of such a uh, magnanimous project. You know, mm -hmm. this is something dream project. Correct. It's engineer's delight, I can say. So, the way I started it, it's up to you. Where you want to grow, how you want to grow, you only should be ready. Opportunity is there. So, you can have that, all that experience. Okay, so okay. Thanks to HPCL for that. You have seen this project coming from a barren desert land to yes. this magnanimous structure. I mean, oh, share your experience. I mean, how much is it, how much is challenging hota hai in this extreme weather condition as well. I mean, what's your experience? Yeah. In fact, uh, the first time when I was traveling here, 
because when we worked in mumbai refinery there we have a space issue okay mm. so everything we need to see that how we are going to put everything into that particular whatever the things available there but the moment you come here in a kind mm. of vast sky vast place and here everything is big mm. either it is biggest in india or it's first time in india mm-hmm. that's the beauty of this it's the largest petrochemical complex that yes, we have everything yeah. is biggest mm-hmm. so sometimes suddenly you have to increase your horizon like this then not only that you are going to deal with the uh, finest uh, contractors and mm. uh, uh, engineering teams across the world here we are mm. dealing with everyone you name it these guys are here so when you are dealing with that kind of again your proficiency has to be of that level so whatever the last 20 years experience what mm-hmm. uh, i could manage to get from hpcl working team now i am putting all that experience here to you know mm-hmm. make our dream come true because okay end of the day i know this project is very crucial for hpcl in financial aspect image aspect a future of hpcl aspect a our business expansion you name it this mm-hmm. is a crucial for project so it's no more a project it's kind of emotion for us mm-hmm. all of us are working here whom se or made this project possible so far jo mm-hmm. humse pehle bhi kaam kiye mm-hmm. unhone bahut acha kaam kiya and the kind of pipe uh, leadership we are having today the kind of support environment infrastructure we are having today mm-hmm. i no more find it as a like a remote thing this is absolutely a yeah. uh, mm-hmm. place to work there is something that you have made your own i mean when you when you uh, you know when you nourish something yes. right from the very you know nascent stage exactly. and take it to something wala a dream coming to a reality yes yes so i mean being a part of that thing is in itself is an overwhelming uh, feeling sure. correct aap bolte hai na ki hmm. aap jahan ho ye aapka jannat hai bilkul so <laughs> ye apna bhi jannat hai bilkul. so right, uh, i am uh, enjoying hmm. every day of year hmm. because every day something new is happening yeah so hmm. something to look for you know something hmm. to contribute for mm-hmm. so that excitement is there wow wow so uh, continuing to this i mean uh, tell us something about your team i mean you must be leading a uh, you know a bunch of officers there will be so many workers who working under you i mean how do you take care of their uh, work life balance and how do you take care of their needs and you know they have to be uh, all the time they have to be pumped up to, yes. uh, to take this <laughs> uh, mega structure into reality so how do you take care of them sir you see especially like uh, we are recruiting across the grades you know from mm. e0 to e5 e6 and uh, yes whenever uh, i have a uh, uh, like i'm handling the ub package i'm handling pcs unit i'm also leading one of the stg package like prds priority mm. prds like that and i have got a uh, just uh, those who came from uh, just college to the experience guys okay so yes uh, like today's egg engineers whom sir have you know uh, mm. initially couple of months you can make out they mm. are having that four more things yes agar uh. mera colleague mumbai mein hoga ya bangalore mein ho mm. kya karta hoga you know? mm-hmm. but over a period of time you can make out they are also becoming part of this journey so uh, and we have a beautiful colony mm-hmm. and we have a good infrastructure jopur is just hours drive One so we can we can yes. always mm-hmm. go and you can come back so uh, so these people also like become a part of that so motivating my team is in fact our team is not a thing in fact they are driving the project our mm. young team is driving the project okay only they need a certain kind of direction otherwise mm. they are phenomenally doing all this young team but our main challenge is uh, like uh, workers because mm. they are coming across uh, india's remote places so here the beauty of uh, hrl is that ki we generally goes to their uh, camps when oh. they are staying okay we are ensuring like uh, you see sometimes it reaches 48 degree and all mm-hmm. so whether that coolers are there or not mm-hmm. their hygiene conditions are like that mm-hmm. so in my case i ensure my officers and including me mm-hmm. in our senior management mm-hmm. we all go to their places you know okay. just to see mm-hmm. whether all basic facilities are there okay so wherever in india their message should go mm-hmm. if you are going to hrl so conditions are made such a way that mm-hmm. even we are taking care of that part of mm-hmm. we are not only looking at building my own organization correct mm-hmm. beyond boundary we are seeing mm-hmm. what else how else we can do because uh, suresh now today is uh, what is we required is not manpower as our uh, uh, ceo always says mm-hmm. we have to focus on productivity yes so productivity will mm-hmm. come through only two things mm-hmm. one is what kind of technology you are using and how you are taking care of people skill manpower you know Yeah. if i take care of these two part mm-hmm. i can do lot of things what we can say like hands on tool mm-hmm. like singapore or a finland or a, these guys are good in taking care of the productivity 
so as a india we are a going economy uh-huh. so sometimes uh, our product is not that good so uh-huh. we always talk about kitna man man power leke aao chao correct so now here in the project site we are changing from that mindset not just a manpower uh-huh. you see whatever available manpower uh-huh. how to enhance the productivity okay and uh, taking care of the people end of the day so ultimately okay. be it my officers or uh-huh. be it a workers uh-huh. who are working for us uh-huh. we have to take care of people uh-huh. so we are not just building a project uh-huh. we are building a strong team here so taking care of people it's it doesn't come from a technical side of your job i mean it's the leadership that you have within and uh, you know it's that empathy factor that you have within right to take care of your workers to So, if we wish to have maximum work from them, we need to take care of their, uh, you know, needs and uh, their emotions and their uh, journeys as right. well. So, rightly said, sir. Thank so you so much. So, just you are saying something that there is something called Yathara Jatata Prasha. You know. Correct. So, when I joined HP, one mm-hmm. thing because I came from private sector, ah, ah, ah. so there are beautiful people. Ah, ah, ah. So, 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 there are beautiful आपका देखा जाएगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन कोविड इट्स बिकम इमोशनल पार्ट इज दैट ड्यूरिंग कोविड वी आर टेकन केयर बाय ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो टुडे इफ यू आस्क मी इज दैट मी वर्क बैलेंस हियर आई विल से नो लाइफ में एवरी टाइम यू कैन नॉट लुक फॉर अ वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस देर सर्टन टाइम्स एच पी सेल एज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू केयर ऑफ मी एंड माई फैमिली टुडे एच आर इज सच इन अ जंक्चर ना इफ आई टूडे से कि मैं आठ घंटा काम करूंगा दस घंटा नो ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन यू आर हियर वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस इज नॉट देर इट्स नॉट देर Okay. Today we don't want it because it's not only me. Okay. My family is also standing by me saying that कब crude cut कर रहे हो ना? जी कब start कर रहे? I mean they have also become the part of the journey. Yes yes. Right? Even oh. sometimes uh, oh. I get pressure from them. कब हो रहा है? You know that kind of a thing. Okay. So uh, <laughs> there is a time for everything in life. Oh. There is a time for balance, uh, work life balance. Oh. There is sometimes there is no work life balance. That's where this passion comes. Okay. So okay. this wow. is <laughs> okay. So let's talk about the uh, you know apart from this work thing, uh, let's talk about the township that we have built here. I've seen that township. It's a pretty you know magnanimous structure once again, and uh, so many facilities are there. Yes. I mean, do you get time to use those facilities, the clubhouse and anything else? <laughs> Whenever even I'm driving back, no, uh, the looking at the youngsters and people are roaming with their family. It's mm. a beautiful feeling because. When I am of that age mm. in HP Nagar East, you know, we used mm-hmm. to roam yes. around. You know, those things used to happen. Mm. So today I am very happy to see this uh, young crowd, old age parents, yeah, कुछ बच्चों के साथ खेल रहे हैं. And we have almost all facilities in uh, mm. this thing. So that's what I am saying. It's no more remote place, you know. Yeah. Uh, everything is there. Everything is there. Yeah. But yes, if it comes to personally, I am an early riser. Mm-hmm. So I get up early morning. So we have beautiful sunrises here. So open grounds are there. Okay. Gym is there. So everything is there. So mm. uh, that's not an issue. Morning okay. early, being early riser, so I have mm. couple of hours in the morning. So that's taken care. So not an issue. Wow. wow. So I'm pretty sure that all the viewers they are, you know, watching you. They are learning from your experiences, and they are already thrilled to join this mega structure, mega installation. So one piece of advice for all the budding engineers who are interested to join this mega refinery project. If you ask me, it's not only to the any budding engineer it's for all those engineers <laughs> because it's a engineers yeah. related place aapko aaj ke date mein at least not only in india nearby hmm. nobody is having this kind of a project yeah this kind of a technology hmm. okay hmm. aap ghar mein bologe na it's everywhere nowadays hmm. if it is raining it's raining everywhere you know just hmm. couple of days here also here also it was raining so yeah. it is like that every day hmm. but this kind of a project hmm. uh, this kind of a even commissioning we are getting into hmm. the commissioning mode you are running this kind of a complex project it's a engineers delight or is a engineers dream so if you ask me personally if you are working in hpcl mm. if you get an opportunity you should work some time here okay. this is going to be your lifetime experience so what uh, i'm experiencing it mm-hmm. i advise everyone they should come and you know they mm-hmm. should ask for it <laughs> you please come here and work here this is mm-hmm. going to be their lifetime journey they will mm-hmm. remember for ever that's what i want to say wow so i mean after having this conversation with you i can easily say that you know behind every machinery or behind any operation you know there is a spirit that yes. keeps you moving true thank you so much for having this conversation with us and i'm pretty sure that whosoever is watching you he is now you know thrilled to join this organization yeah that's thank you wonderful so much. thank you thank you so much thank you <laughs> thank you mr raghavendra for showing your experience and insights your journey from operating plants to executing them beautifully reflects 
the spirit of continuous growth and innovation. You have reminded us that energy efficiency isn't just about systems and processes. It's about the people behind them. Those who work with passion, precision and purpose. To our listeners, thank you for being a part of this conversation. Stay tuned for more such inspiring stories from the leaders who continue to make a difference every single day. Until next time, Namaskar and Jai Hind.